Hi guys, welcome back to another awesome review. Today I'm going to re be reviewing Jungle Cruise starring Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt. Let's dive right in. <laughs> so first off, I just want to say that this movie is based off of the Disneyland and Disney World attraction called Jungle Cruise. You know, kind of the same name as the movie. Um, this is Disney's, I don't know how many times, but Disney has done this before with other attractions, making them in the movies. Um, you've probably heard of Pirates of the Caribbean. Those movies are all based off of the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction, which is in Disneyland and Disney World as well. Um, Disney also made, I think it's Tomorrowland into a movie and Haunted Mansion starring Eddie Murphy. They've done it multiple times and a few others that I've had not on the top of my head have also done. So this is not Disney's first time doing it. So they have had some experience with this kind of making an attraction into a movie. So I just want to say that this movie gave huge Parts of the Caribbean vibes um, when watching it. Um, I kind of got that right away, right off in the film, not because the first one of the first scenes in the film was a boat in a sea, and I was like, oh, that looks a lot like Parts of the Caribbean, but because they kind of did the same adventure type film through, you know, water, on water, and kind of had kind of the same plot in the film as Parts of the Caribbean. This also gave me Indiana Jones vibes as well. So if you like either of those movies, Pirates of the Caribbean or Indiana Jones, you're gonna like this movie because it's very similar to those movies. And yeah. So uh, the characters in the movie, we have Dwayne Johnson as Frank, and then you have Emily Blunt as Lizzie, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, and Lizzie's kind of like the main character. And then Frank, of course, is the skipper of the boat. Um, yeah, and at the beginning of the film, Frank does some dad jokes, and they're really funny. And yeah, and that's also a reference to the Jungle Cruise attraction at the theme parks, Disneyland theme parks, because um, in those rides, the skippers actually do say kind of the same jokes as in the movie. So it's kind of a little reference to the ride. And the whole film was very engaging the whole time. It was a little on the longer side. I'm pretty sure it's 2 hours and 23 minutes, maybe a little off but I'm pretty sure it's that long, but it does hold your attention, which is good. And yeah, so when I first saw, did see the trailer, I kind of was a little iffy on it, did look a little weird, but I would say that the movie is very good. You know, you have your basic uh, kind of main villain and side villain in this that were working together, but only because one had a deal over the other during the movie. And then we have the betrayal towards the end of the movie. So we kind of have that kind of villain portraying this in the movie. And it's this German dude who's trying to get the leaf from the tree to help him win the war, uh, World War One, And then these other guys, which are kind of, have been cursed when they're trying to find the tree of life back in like the, I want to say 1700s, 1500s, around that time era. And they got cursed. Also, we get the reveal that Frank was also part of the guys that got cursed, which are the villains. Frank was part of those guys, and Frank actually trapped them down in this well that is not connected to the river water. And they need to be connected to the river water to actually be alive. So Frank trapped them down there, kind of betrayed them and trapped them down there, and they weren't alive anymore. They were kind of frozen into stone. But Frank is part of that, so he's actually very 400 years old, but you know, he looks like Dwayne Johnson, so he's not that old. And yeah, and we kind of go, kind of the race to the tree, and then once they get to the tree, everyone's kind of there, and then there'd be kind of that fighting sequence. So yeah, a lot like Pirates of the Caribbean where they're racing to this one spot to get the goal and then they kind of all fight when they get there. But yeah, it's a very good movie. Um, the cinematography was very good. Uh, and yeah, it was all put, toge put together very well and it's a very good film. So I would definitely recommend this, especially if you're into Pirates of the Caribbean or Indiana Jones. And yeah, I would rate this film an A- minus or an 8 out of 10, whatever you like better. But yeah, thanks guys for watching and I'll catch you